Hi again, it's Tim, your living sky guy from the Paris of the Prairies, beautiful Saskatoon. When you think of April, the last thing you usually think about is fireworks, right? Well, think again. From Sunday, April 19th until dawn of Thursday, April 23rd, we're being visited by the annual Lyrid meteor shower. This is the universe's answer to fireworks. Well, showers like the Lyrids happen throughout the year on a regular basis, and this is our first major one of the spring season. Best of all, a thin, almost new crescent moon won't rise until just before dawn, giving us a dark sky to view the fainter meteors. During this shower under a dark sky, you might see as many as 10 to 15 meteors per hour at its peak. Midnight to dawn on Wednesday, April 22nd, will probably feature the greatest number of meteors. Meteor showers occur when the Earth's orbit passes through a trail of debris left over by passing comets. Pieces of dust and rocks collide with the Earth's atmosphere and burn up. Depending on the size of them and the angle that they hit, you may see them as a faint flash in the darkness or as a streaking fireball arcing across the sky. The prime time to view a meteor shower is generally from midnight until dawn when the Earth's rotation is turning our sky more directly into the path of the debris field. Well, viewing a meteor shower is simple. Find a dark, clear sky as far away from city lights that you can manage, dress warmly for the weather, and sit back in a comfortable lawn chair. A reclining one works best, and enjoy the show. If you want to photograph a meteor shower, We'll put your widest angle lens on your DSLR or mirrorless camera, mount it on a sturdy tripod, set your aperture to the widest opening for best light gathering capability, and set your shutter speed for 15 to 30 seconds, depending on how dark your sky is. The darker the sky, the longer the shutter speed, and set your ISO to 3200. Then program your camera's interval timer to take one image after another over and over until you're ready to call it a night. Once the camera is shooting, sit back in that comfortable chair and enjoy the show. As for where to aim the camera, well, that's the $64,000 question. Showers are named after the constellation from which they appear to come from, the radiant point. In the case of the Lyrids, after midnight, look for the brightest star in the eastern sky. It's called Vega in the constellation Lyra. This is the radiant point for this shower. However, meteors can appear at any point of the sky on that night. Myself, I plan to aim towards Vega with a minimum of horizon at the bottom of the frame and hope for the best. As an added bonus this year, you'll also get a good view of the planets Mars, Saturn, and Jupiter in the pre-dawn southeastern sky. As I said, meteor showers occur throughout the year, and this is just one of them. For a complete list of them, refer to the RESC Observer's Handbook. Meteor showers are one of the easiest astronomical events to experience, and the sheer joy of just sitting back under the night sky and watching the show happen is a peaceful and beautiful experience. Put away your smartphone for the night. Listen to the returning geese flying overhead in the darkness, the owls hooting in the trees, and if you're lucky, the coyotes howling in the distance. Who could ask for anything more? If you're enjoying these videos and wish to join me in this voyage of discovery, simply click the subscribe button below. Also, if you want to follow my personal exploits, look for me on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Just search for Living Sky Guy. Clear skies, everyone.